This is called America I Love You or We Know Nothing. <laughs> I hope I will always remember perching above the ocean on the Oregon coast in fall, so mesmerized by the rhythm of the vast Pacific meeting land that my breathing kept time, Mojave Desert moonscape. Broken glass glitters along the highway shoulder, a mirage, a silver ribbon, a slender marker bed for humanity's brief existence. Now I drive through eastern Utah, transfixed by webs of memory as my eyes traverse sandstone cliffs. Everything seen through the shade of the tinted windows in the back of a Dodge 5500. Things are rarely ever as they seem. California, Elk Hills Formation. We drill in groves of pomegranates, drive past almond plantations, and the air quality is worse than anywhere in the country. A great valley, overused on the surface, exploited deep below. Third in production, cruise east through dusty company towns. Suddenly, it's come to this. I'm 26, all my pillows are stolen from hotels and I'm scared to let anyone in. And it's gone on like this for three years, I guess, and I'm gone all the time and my life is a mess. And now I've logged thousands of miles through Western middle America in diesel guzzling trucks. Seen Venus set among live oaks in Texas as the sun rose over a flat horizon and even the rig lights couldn't overpower the beauty. I've watched the wheat brown in Kansas and wandered the Dakota Prairie in the first flush of spring, longing always for sleep. But driving is good for working on poetry until you need to write it down. I have lost more poems to the open road than I have ever written. <laughs> this life of constant wandering, ceaseless transience has inspired more than I could ever have imagined. The Eagle Ford in Texas and Ibrera in Colorado and North Dakota second in production, we drill down, down, down down through the Three Forks, the Bakken, the False Bakken, into the Pronghorn, deep, deep, deep. We are barely scratching the surface of the earth. 8,000 wells here, 10,000 feet down, 50,000 wells to come, 12,000 horizontal feet. The substrate resembles Swiss cheese. Fractures run like lightning, breaking open millions of years of secrets, stealing from the depths a theft of ancient, mythic proportions. Pillage, produce, repeat, repeat, repeat. If I never again see another piece of Eagle Ford shale first in production, it will be far too soon. Fill up with clean burning diesel and motor south through bluffs that escape being sand dunes only by the sparse grass tufts holding them in place. Once I reach the Black Hills outside Spearfish and hear the killdeers, I know home is close. Running south and a little east through the green rolling hills to the thriving winter wheat fields of western Nebraska, across the old Oregon Trail and into springtime thunderstorms, Colorado, waiting on the horizon. Across the state line and into Sterling High School basketball memories mingling with the smell of feedlots, finally, the rock is on the horizon, silhouetted by stars. I am running on fumes. Home, sanctuary. Even here, I cannot escape the dichotomy. My bicycle has tires made of rubber. Thank you.